FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It is a standard communication protocol that has been around even before personal computers. FTP is built upon the client-server model and allows files to be uploaded and downloaded between a client and a server. A user was signing through a client to an FTP server by a username and password. If permitted, the FTP server can also offer anonymous sign-ins. Connections between the client and the FTP server are usually secured by SSL, which is referred to as FTPS, or SSH, also known as SFTP. FTP connections typically consist of two types of channels. The command channel, which is initiated by the client, is used for relaying information for the next channel that is to be initiated, which is the data channel. The data channel is through which files are transmitted. One thing of note, FTP connections can consist of more than one data channel. FTP operates in one of two modes. Active mode is rarely used today, and we will soon see why. In active mode, the client uses a command channel to connect to the FTP server by port 21. Information is then transmitted to the FTP server indicating which port should be used for creating the data channel. Upon receiving the port number from the client, the FTP server goes ahead and initiates the data channel, making it possible for files to be transmitted. Passive is the second mode in which FTP can operate. In passive mode, the client creates a command channel as it does in active mode, but sends instead what is known as a PASV, requesting an open port by which a data channel can be created. Upon receiving a port number from the FTP server, the client then initiates the creation of the data channel. What we should take away from these two FTP modes is that in active mode, it is the FTP server that initiates the creation of the data channel, whereas in passive mode, it is the client that does the initialization. This will become important for one main reason, security. When FTP was first created, security may not have been at the forefront in the minds of developers at the time. In our modern times, this is not the case. Today, most clients operate behind what is known as a firewall, which filters how a device is accessed from the outside by keeping open ports to a bare minimum. For passive mode FTP, firewalls pose little issue, since all connections are made from the client side. But in active mode, this is not the case because the connection for the data channel is initiated by the FTP server, which is on the outside. But this is not to say that FTP servers do not have firewalls of their own, but these firewalls will have to be configured to be more flexible with outside connections. So FTP is a protocol that allows for the transference of files between clients and servers. Connections are made up of a command and data channels. SSL and SSH are two methods by which FTP transmissions can be secured. But with the implementation of firewalls, active mode is now defunct, and passive has become the operating mode of choice.